sound is pretty on point. The sound is working. Here? Yes, yes, sound is good. Okay, good. All right. Um, okay, so let's see. So let's uh, let's invite this. So I'm Rabbi Kiva. That's where we left off, right? Yeah. Mishnah on on Nun Vavama base. Uh Amr Abakiva Dante Lufne Rabbi Eliezer. I made a a, a, a a din in front of Rabbi Eliezer. Ma'am etzim kissa oyra. Chain and metama adam ba oil. So again getting back to the tumantara. A bone the size of a barley seed is not metama and adam um ba oil. All right, we said it only is metama a person with if he touches it. But not the oil. Not if meaning if like somebody goes under another goes under the same tent as a as a bone of barley, it's he's not going to become tummy. It's only if he touches it. So if a bone the size of a barley is not matama person ba'il, hanazir magalei but a nazir takes a haircut if he touches it, balmasayin if he carries it. So revias dam a quarter a quarter of a kav of blood shu matama adam ba'il. That it is matama person by all meaning if somebody goes under the same roof as a quarter of a calf of blood, then he becomes tummy. Then shouldn't it be a kava that he should that he should a nazir should become tummy based on on him touching it or carrying it, right? I mean it's it's a it's a regular, steady. It's regular, not steady. It's regular standard. It's a standard kava right? Um, again, he's basically saying if a bone the size of a barley will not make a nazar tummy but oil, but if he touches it, it will. So Ravi is dam that will be, that will become tummy will make a nazar tummy if it's under the same roof. So for sure, it should become tummy if he touches it, which we said in the previous Mishnah that it will not make him tummy. So that's what that was Rabbi Kiva's kava So um, so Amar Ali so. Rabbi Yezder said to me, Maze Akiva, what is this Akiva? Ain't done in Kan We don't make a Kavachaymi like that, right? Like a lot of times Rabbeim do, they, he didn't say the reason. Rabbi Yezder did not say the reason why he can't make the Kavachaymi. He just told Rabbi Akiva, we don't make Kavachaymi like that. When I went and told it to Rabbi Yeshua, so I'm really told me, Yafa, Yafa Amarta, you said, you did, you said a good Kavachaymi. Ella came Amr Halacha, but it's Halacha Lamashim Sinai. Like we said, we, like we've been saying, it's Halacha Lamashim Sinai. So therefore, the Halacha Lamashim Sinai tells you, tells us other than what you're saying in your Kavachaymer. So therefore, your Kavachaymer doesn't work. Right? So, so therefore, Rabbi Kiva's um wasn't, wasn't working simply because there was Halacha Lamashim Sinai here. Right? Okay, I'll tell you about now. So, I mean, there are major portions of Torah which Rabbi Akiva did not know. What do you mean? Because he, he got, he didn't know it's Allah. He didn't know it's Allah. Allah, 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 Allah. Um, I hear. Uh, uh, it's Masha from the Gemara that Maisha Rabbeinu and Har Sinai that he knew the halacha which we Sinai. It could be he didn't know the halacha that you can't learn the kavachayim from halacha which we Sinai. Well, that well, the Gemara is going to declare which way it's either to halacha which we Sinai or from halacha which we Sinai. Right. But yeah, yeah. Maybe Rabbi Kiva didn't know this rule. Maybe he didn't know this rule. Okay. Right. That's what Find it seems. Showing this very hard to understand. Yeah. And Hanami, and Hanami. Um, I mean, you want to say that Rabbi Kiva started learning at 40, so maybe he missed that part? Is that Apicarsis? That would be pretty bad, Rabbi Yaakov, I think. Yeah, yeah, I would think so. I would think so. Yeah, but, especially uh, since he, he's the one person, Maishra Rabbeinu said he should give the Torah, not me, Rabbi Kiva. Right, right. It's hard to say he that, didn't that know anything. Right, so that makes Rabbi yeah. Kashi even stronger. Right, 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 right. Yeah, and Hanami, yeah. Okay, so anyway, so let's see the Gemara number Let's see by Lu. They had a shayla like this because again, he said this kavachaymer, and we said he can't do the kavachaymer because it's halachal ma'ashim So at some kisa ayra, 
halacha, which one is, is the etzem kisara that a bone, the size of a barley, is what makes, is halacha l'meshim yisenai, or revias dam kavachaymer. And we want to learn out that a revias dam also makes tuma from a kavachaymer. Bein done in kavachaymer me'halacha, and we don't learn out a kavachaymer from halacha. Is that the way it was? I don't know. Revias dam halacha, or maybe the revias dam that is matama as a oil is Allah l'meshim yisenai, the etzem kisara, Kavachaymer and the, the bone, the size of a barley is a Kavachaymer. Meaning that's um that's what we uh, meaning in Bain Dana Kavachaymer Malach, and then we don't learn out a Kavachaymer from Allah. So basically what the Gemara is asking is which one is the Allah Halam Sina? Right? It's, it's interesting, Rabbi, because what that means the Gemara itself didn't even know which one was the Allah Halam Sina. Right? So I, again it gets into this whole this is, I remember, didn't we discuss it with the Yerushalmi or something about Halakha Lomay Shem that there's like a Messiah that, that's sort of like is Rishavas about Halakha Lomay Shem Something like that. Yeah, okay. But anyway, so that's the Gemara Shaila. Which one is Halakha Lomay Shem Besinais? The Tashima, the Gemara says, Etzim Kisaira Halakha, the, the barley, the barley size uh, bone is halach lo meshi b'sina revias dam kavachaymer and the learning out the revias dam is a kavachaymer and ve ain't done a kavachaymer halacha and we do not learn out a kavachaymer from halacha. What? No, which one? Which one is halach lo meshi b'sina and which is not? Meaning they both have halachas. Then we know there was two givens here: one that a barley bean touch uh, is matama with touching, right? And not by oil, and Revias Dam is Matama by oil and not in touching. So we wanted to make what? Yeah, so we wanted to make uh, a whole mixture out of it. That's, uh, yeah, okay. So Hadron Allah, Kayan Godel, Lachayan. Lachayan. I didn't see you drinking, Paris. No, my mute wasn't working. Oh, okay, there you go. Lachayan. <laughs> Okay, um, fine. New parak. I think this is the side, second to last parak. Paris, now we Paris continue. The Nuzaydi left you high and dry. Go ahead. The what? The Nuzaydi oh. left you high and dry over here. Oh, I didn't see. You didn't say Lachaim, Mavi. You're just sitting there. Sorry. Doesn't want to wake the baby. Yeah, oh. right. Lachaim, I don't want to make him feel bad that he's using such a small glass. It was Jesse's Lachaim. Jesse looks like he's on duty somewhere. All right. Tell me has to cover Jesse on that. Oh, yeah, okay. Jesse. Jesse's going to be drinking right as soon as he gets home. We finished two hours of PTA. <laughs> but, we it, but you know okay. what? I should have taught him you start before you go to PTA. I'm sure he uh, did. Yeah, that's, that's why your kids have such a great reputation. Oh, you see the parents. Right? When you share with the Rabbeim, then don't worry. They don't have to do their homework. No, I don't need it. No, here I don't need it. Hello, can you hear me now? We can yeah. hear you. Okay, good. No, I put it on. I didn't stop that. Zev Bol, Zev Bol is sitting here. He can't hear, hear the whole conversation. He's, he, he said he's not missing anything. He doesn't think. But... The... <laughs> Um, but now we got to give him something to miss. So let's, yeah. Okay, next parak. So now we continue with, now we're back for at least for a half a moment, back to our Suffolk Nazir, Suffolk, uh, Suffolk Metzaira, Suffolk, Suffolk Tuma. And then we get into, um, then we'll get into haircuts and shaving, whether it's also for a woman, not a woman. That's basically a kiss or what's going to be going on. So Shnei Nazirim, Shamala and Echa, two Nazirim that somebody tells them. Now, you got to love this guy. You got a nosy guy who sees two Nazirim and he says, hey, one of you guys became Tommy. I don't know which one. He's like, wonderful. You know, those guys that they come and they, they, they come and they drop a bomb and then they leave. It's like, you know, what are we supposed to do with you now? Right. So this is what this guy did. He sees two Nazirim schmoozing. He says, one of you guys just became Tommy. I don't know which one. OK, now now what? What was to do with that? So Tysus actually says it's talking about where both Nazirim are quiet, meaning they don't know. Because if the Nazirim say to him, 
fly a kite, you don't know what you're talking about, then he's not believed, right? Because Eid Echad, the is not believed. And Eid Echad comes and somebody says, by the way, what you're saying is not true. So he's just not believed, right? So it has to be told about where these two Nazirim are quiet. They don't know. They just don't know whether they became Tomei or not. Right, so again, the Nazirim, Shamalah and Echad, Reisi Echad, Mikem Shanitma. I saw one of you guys would come to him. I don't know which one. So now again, getting back to yesterday's daf, what are these guys supposed to do? They can't take haircuts. Let's say they would, let's say one of them became Tommy. So what are you supposed to do? He's supposed to wait a week, you know, sprinkle the blood on the third and the seventh day, right? And then he then he shaves his head, but he can't because let's say he's not, let's say he's not the Tommy Kayan, uh Tayan Tommy Nazir. So now what's he supposed to do? He can't take a hair because it's a Daraiso. Right again, we said that if a vaday, if a if a nazir vaday became tome, so essay doicha loisa se, the essay of shaving his head to become tar is doicha loisa se, maybe a loisa se, and an essay that's going to be tomorrow's daf, right? But whatever it is, it's doicha, but that's only doicha if he's a vaday tome, if he's a stuffic tome, we can't do it. So basically, what they have to do is they have to wait 30 days till the naziris is over. Then they could take their haircuts and then they could bring carbonus. But now they have to wait another 30 days in case the previous Naziris was no good. So they're gonna have to wait 60 days, bottom line is, and they're gonna have to bring two sets of carbonus. So let's see. So what goes on is Megalchin, right? They take a haircut after 30 days, Umavian carbon tuma of a carbon tara, and they bring a carbon tuma and a carbon tahara, meaning. They, there's two there's two different carbonas. Well, there's multiple carbonas, but they have to bring carbonas as if one is Tomei and one is Tar, Va'aymer, and they say, Imani hu Tomei, I meaning they say to each other, they have to make a deal. Again, there's two Nazirim here. One is Tomei, one is Tar. So one only has to bring the carbonas of a standard Nazir, the standard three carbonas, and the other one has to bring the Tomei ones. So they say to each other, Va'aymer, Imani hu Tomei, carbon Tuma Shali, a carbon Tahara Shulcha. The carbon tumas are mine and the carbon tars are yours. And if I'm the tar one, so carbon tar is shali, but carbon tumas shalcha, right? They, they make a deal, they make a shutvis in the carbonus, and that's what and that's what they say to each other. Then that's what happens after 30 days. Then can a khatas be in the dava? What? Can a khatas be in the dava? No, but it's not in the dava here because one of it's definitely it's definitely a khatas. We just don't know who's it's for. Oh, they shoot him. They don't both bring. They shoot him in all the carbonus. Yes, they shoot him in all the carbonus. Yes, yeah. right. Um, well, Tyson says love dafka nokat va'omer elaze yikar of l'shem mishu v'ze yikar l'shem mishu. But yeah, that's basically what it is. Right. Then what do they have? So that's after thirty days. Then stayfrin shloshin and then they both have to count thirty days. Because again, each one's Nazirus might not have been a kosher Nazirus because they might have been tummy. Then maybe in carbon tahara, then they bring a carbon tahara, meaning the standard post Nazirus carbonus. So if I'm the tummy one, carbon tuma shali, the carbon tahara shocha. Then the carbon tuma that was there before was mine, and the carbon tahara. That was before was yours, Vizek carbon tarasi, and this is my carbon because I needed I'm I'm a, a nazir. But if, he says if I was the one that was tar before, so carbon tarashali, then the 30, the, the carbon is 30 days ago, right? The ones after the first 30 days, the carbon tara was mine, the carbon tuma shocha, vizek carbon tarascha, and this is the carbon of your of your tara, right? So basically they're making Tanayim all the way around. They're bringing both. They're all bringing the carbonus beshutvis, and like this, everybody everybody goes home happy. So in this case, it's not such a disaster like yesterday's stuff where the guy had to wait 120 days. Here, the only thing is they have to wait 60 days and they have to bring an extra carbonus and they make all sorts of tanayim and everybody's happy, right? So that's that's basically what goes on with the with the svekas. So now the more the kasha. Wouldn't it be Gatani, wouldn't it be better for, for on the 60th day? For them both to bring a carbon tara, well, at day thirty when they when they do the shutfus, let let the let them each make it tonight in the next thirty days. If I need a new naziris now, this is my naziris. If I don't, I'm being makabel a new naziris. <laughs> Gershon, if I understand the Gemara, I'm very happy. 
I'm not going to start asking kashas that there should be epis something another way around. Are you kidding me? I'm I'm happy. I even understood the Gemara. <laughs> now I'm not even sure I understood the Gemara, but <laughs> so but I'm not holding by you. Where start telling the Gemara more Uh uh uh. No no no. Sorry, I'm going to stick with my plain and simple understanding. <laughs> but if you want later, you can uh, after the daf we could uh, we could do this. Um, um, but I hear, I mean, I, I, I don't know. I know with all these cheshbites, is, is it taking the specific one or it's meaning are there other options or not? Could be there are other options. This is just the simplest way, but you're saying the other way is simple. I don't know. There is a, a I, I'm not saying, I, I still don't understand this. I didn't understand it in the morning. I don't understand now. Who cares what this, this dope says? Oh. What do we care? He's not saying anything. Oh. Tomorrow, you don't have to call people out on the shear like that. You know, it's not nice. What? You don't have I to call out people on the shear like that. I'm calling out the guy in the Gemara. The busybody in the Gemara has nothing else to do. You make, <laughs> what, what? Do we have no I think idea? He, I, I, I think, think we both thought not. you were talking about me. <laughs> yeah, no. Chas What are you saying, Rachamim? Two things. One, one is we're saying the chattis works, but it's a chattis on a tenai. If I, I it's for me or it's for you, but a chattis has to be lishma. So, what is, how, how does that work out if it's on a tenai? But it is lishma. It is lishma. It's it's what it's maman of shach. It's going to be somebody's lishma. That's the way I understand it. But I don't know. One one way or the other, it's going to be one. Of, it's going to be a, a kosher carbon chatz. It's just a matter of who it belongs to, right? Sounds like a, I think. Rachman, this is classic. A fool and his money is soon parted. That these two guys are listening to this third idiot. Oh, so on top of I'm what you're saying. I thought it's like a fake faker. This guy throws a suffolk in here, and he's probably a spooky himself. You know, let him shut up and have a nice day. You know, who, who says he's supposed to open his mouth? You know, he wasn't sure which one. <laughs> Let's still. I just... Yep, yep. Right. Rabaran, that's the top choice is what you're saying. These guys are not denying it. So if they're not denying it, so then they're we have to They're not denying listen. what? That, they, but that they're not tummy. This guy comes over to him and says, you guys are tummy, right? So if they would deny it, Tyson says if I uh, who cares what this guy says? I don't have what do I have to answer him for? Because I'm high if they I'm high if they answer him. Yes. 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 Yeah, but guys that. I think he's saying Adus. If he's saying a what? He's saying hello. Halacha says that. Says that. I don't know what happened. That's his Adus. I don't know what happened. So good, you don't know what happened. Go David Mincha, leave me but alone. So you write your own Gemara, but right now the Gemara is saying where they do, they are Choshesh. If you don't David nope. Mincha, people David Meyer, if they say it's in, uh, it's either no, regular. No, Tysus says, right? I'm saying, Tysus says, Tysus says, Shahain Shoyskin, Shimo Yu Makhishin, it's a Lion Amman, Rabban, you're this right. Whole, if this I whole parak is about, uh, this whole parak is about doubts. Okay, That's I'm true, sorry. That's what I said. I didn't understand the morning. I still don't understand it. Saying, so this. join us in another parrot. You know, Thank no, you. This... When you come every day, then tell me what to do, okay? Okay. Okay, listen. This, 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 this Suffolk, I hear where you're coming from. You're saying, like, who is this guy to come make trouble? He's a troublemaker, right? Who's, why should we listen the guy to him? The walks into the same. by the house in a year. So a guy walks into the kitchen over there by Marina and he says, I saw them deliver Chaza today. They have to answer him. What do they have to answer him for? Just have to have three waiters throw him in the water. What do they don't have to answer him? Yeah, this guy. Aaron, by having I'm, I'm three I'm waiters throw him in the water, he's, he's by definition protesting the claim. Here, nobody protested the claim. Okay, so don't do anything. Don't do anything. Doing ishtika kaada. 
Right. I mean, that's basically what Tyson is saying. I'm going to get in trouble. So you don't get in trouble. Isn't this a big partial? What is the meaning? What is this guy getting into your life for? What do you mean, Shtika Kaido? How can You're right. Nobody asked if something, something has relevance. There's no relevance. I, I, this, this person has no 100%. relevance. To my nobody, life. nobody I'm asked. Asking, I don't have to that. answer. I know. What do I have to answer him for? What, so you, what, you walk what, away. You say this guy's a dummy. Me. The guy comes over to you and he says this, and you say this guy's a dummy, and you walk away. So then it's nothing. That by you saying this guy's a dummy, that is an answer. I'm not. But so, he, when you go I to when you say, you, wait a second, after, why do I have to answer him to do anything? Because the halacha says so. Because the halacha says so. What's the down? I, I guess I, another I try, way to phrase it. Another way to phrase this is what's the down the, side uh, if they're wrong? David. So I'm David. Tomorrow morning, I'm going to go over and give a clap in the basement that you stole your house. You have to I don't answer walk me. Into the I don't walk into the basement. You have to answer me. What do you have to answer me for? I stay in the conference room. <laughs> David, I think well, that well, you well, stay well, Can I start well, from well, the well, beginning well, here? He, he saw well, something. The no, guy no, saw something. No. No. Yes, says it's an instant derisive yes. him not to give aiders. He's not he giving aiders. He is. It's, He's it's, giving aiders. It's a pussy. It's He's a good aider. I his anus is faulty. That's not his anus is faulty. He's saying he's already saying he doesn't know. So who? So it's, <laughs> that's saying, faulty. No, what no, kind of anus is that? It's not. It's not a faulty anus. It's the inverse of Shnei Shvilin. He saw two people walking down a path. There's a mace under part of that path. He doesn't know where. One that's of them not the case. That's that is not one the case. case. It could be the case. case. That is the case. It could be. Would be the case. It's a Doesn't potential case. It's a potential if that's case. the case, he's an Adef, but he has to go to Besdin. He has an Issa Derisa not to go to Besdin. He goes to Besdin. Now they have Shtika Kaida. If, 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 the, if they agree with him, okay, we were there, then they're agreeing that one of them walked over a mace. They, they, can't, they can't agree and claim that this guy's a nothing. He has an Issa Derisa not to go. Right. Fair enough. Can we, 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 we give Gliner credit that he did Chumash already? Isn't it right? I'm saying the guy didn't know yes. he was coming. Parrots, he only did it his first time. It's his first of 10 right. times. Right. Okay. <laughs> I didn't get it good yet. Okay. <laughs> um, I don't know. That's why I think Tysus is addressing it by saying that nobody denied it. That's what you have to say. That's what you have to say. Again, he this is a... him in he's talking That's... about Aethers. Sri Yaakov, so yeah. I just, I, you don't have to explain it to me because I'm not going to understand it. It's fine. I, it's okay if I don't understand it because I have a different Rebbe than all you people had. Okay. Okay. My, when Shlomo was still alive, there was the mezuzah reader in Brooklyn and the mezuzah reader told a couple, he told the husband that he read the mezuzah from their bedroom and that the wife was Mizana. And I was in Reb Shlomo's house when the story came out. And Reb Shlomo said to me, he said, Aaron, I wish I had Koyuch. I would take four or five of you in a car with me. We all have bats. And we beat the hell out of this mezuzah guy. That's where I come from. I, I would so what did this Shmendrick is all... What, what, he's making a doubt here for no reason. That's what, that's what I... So I'm not going to understand I, the Gemara. It's fine. I mean, I, I have Koyuch. I'll pick you up in 10 minutes. Rebaran, Rebaran, it's good. You just made a hakdama to the next Masech, the Saita. It's good. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, listen, it's... Saita's the same thing? Saita's with a husband. The husband what, what if is, there's is no, jealous. Of... What if there's no answer? There's no, meaning the suffix is not answerable. I mean, that's I saw why that we, you walked so, under there. I don't know where you walked. I have no idea where I walked today. That's, that's what this chapter was under. about. That's what this paragraph is about, when you don't know. Right, but if the answer is that I should have made a macho, how am I supposed to make a macho if I don't know? We, that's exactly what the parrot's about. Right, so that, right, so since he doesn't know, it's a suffix. That's exactly what it is. The fact is that you didn't make a macho against it. Yes. It's up to you. Not that sure. You're being... Correct. If you make a, if the guy says, "Listen, you're full of baloney," and it's not true, then we throw it, we throw it out. It's nothing to talk about. It's only because they said, "Ah, taka, maybe," right? That's that's what it is. Anyways, okay. Let's see, Vita. Yeah, Katani. 
You know, there was a mice. Uh, I was talking to a guy, a uh, business guy who got ripped off about something a couple of days ago or yesterday. And then there was a guy, I, I, I don't know if the island remembers this. And I think he was doing this in the Aguda. He would find out from the hawk that somebody's about to do a real estate deal, right? And he would go over to the guy like the week before and say, I have a good real estate deal for you, right? We we'll try and, to get to two points. See, that's famous. <laughs> yeah, guy, there's guys who go around like that. In the mix for whatever, they listen to all the comments. Yeah, yeah. They go and then they say they take the guy to bed and I told him the idea and he he told me he's not interested and a week later he he signed on the deal so I should get my piece and what's Bezdin supposed to do what is Bezdin supposed to do right yeah. so they do pshara they give him apis whatever there's crooks out there like that so they, this guy could also be it's fine. remember that much yeah. anyways okay so zog the gemara katani shnei nazirim sham there's a very major thing halacha that we learn of in the gates of Shabbos from this gemara I think from this gemara. But Katani Shnei Nazirim Shomer Lahem, that we we learned the mission of two Nazirim that the guy told him Reisi Echel Michem Shenitma Veini Adei Ezem Michem. I saw one of you guys become Tommy. I don't know which one. Vamai, why? Well, why? Right? Kol Safik Tuma Bereshus Al Yochid Mehechi Yafina. Meaning, we I think we discussed this well yesterday or the day before. And Safik Tuma Bereshus Al Yochid is Tommy, right? Safik Tuma Bereshus Al Rabim is Tar, right? So where did this suffix come up, right? These guys, each one of them is a suffix, whether they became Tommy. So where did it come up? So the Gemara, so the Gemara is saying, my call suffix, yachid, you know, How do you know that suffix yachid, is Tommy? You learn it out from Saita, right? Because when the husband's chayshid the wife, that she was mezana with somebody, where did that nus happen? In a yachid. And, and the Saita is liable. At least she has to drink the drink, right? And it happens, shusha yachid, ma Saita, boy over novellas, so just like a Saita, um, the only people there are the one that slept with her and her who was slept with. Afkal Safik Tuma Brishasayachid. So any Safik Tuma Shusayachid, I could go into Ika Bay Trey. Um, when there's two people there, so that's a Safik Tuma Rishusayachid. Meaning, how do you make Rishusayachid? Rishusayachid's two people. Aval Hacha here, Shnei Nazirim, you have the two Nazirim, Vahai the Koy Gabeon, and then this guy. The guy, the third man who said one of them is Tommy. So there's three. That makes three. That makes it a suffix to Meshusaram because three is a crowd. I don't know if that's where that phrase comes from, but three is a crowd, it's, right? We change the definition of Meshusarabim. We change the definition of Meshusarabim. <laughs> Pretty cool. 600,000. Yes, it's a far cry from 600,000. Three. Okay, Rachman, don't use the air of anywhere, okay? Because three is a Rosh Hashanah. Fine. No, but for, for, okay, so like I love it. Three. And also, also in Hilcha Shabbos, when something called the Tzairich Rabbim, where we're more makel, let's say Amir Lakum on Shabbos, it's a Tzairich Rabbim. Three people is a Rabbim. That's what the Mishnah says. I don't know if it's based on this Gemara or not, but three people is considered a rabbin. Whatever it is. So here, yeah, this Rishus doesn't mean Rishus like it's usually used. It means Rishus Um Well, it means in the public. It means in the public. Right. But people have permission to be there, or people that's do true. go there. Correct. Correct. But but anyways, that, that's a good. Point. So we're saying that it's. The two Nazirim plus the guy who saw them become Tommy. Any Suffolk in Rosh Hashanah, the Suffolk is Tar. So how come we're saying here that both of these guys, meaning each guy should be considered Tar, right? So how come we're saying I saw a Tumor that got thrown to you, meaning actually see them walking on the path like Ezra wanted to say, or he didn't actually see them touch. He just said, I saw, let's say, a sheretz. Well, let's keep away sheretz. This is complicated. I saw a piece of a mace. I saw a barley-sized bone of a mace roll towards one of you guys and hit one of you guys, but I couldn't see which one of you it was. So he wasn't actually there. He saw from a distance. Though it was not a, it was not a robin because he wasn't next to them, right? Now, I wonder, Taka, what would be if he saw it on a video camera? Would that be enough for this or not? Because our video camera, do we, we accept hey, this video camera? Do we not? Right? So, Amar Avashi, take a Nami. We have a deal like this. Probably wouldn't be a suffix then, because you could probably identify who it was on a video you camera. Mean, go, 
You mean go back and replay the video camera? Yeah, you, and you could probably zoom in and see exactly what happened. It's better than yeah, that, that, not being. It's better than being a distance. Right, but that's a bigger question. Are we going to really trust that? Are we really going to trust that enough to make it not a suffix? Right? Like I guess that gets into yeah whether we. I don't know if it gets into machine matzahs or not, but we're not going to go down that road, right? Whether that's well, called... Video, according, camera, according... video camera only shows you one view. You, you can play all kinds of tricks uh, and, and you can't see everything with it. You can't... How can you pass it out of a, a video? Right, so... you know, if you tell me a dead person walked by and, and, and they were under the same oil, okay, fine, I got it. Right. Right. And uh, Hanami. Some do, some don't. Some do, some don't. Anyways, so what's Meduy? He didn't know which one. How do you not no, know, know which one? What, what, what about taking a video of a guy's house where to put mezuzahs? Yeah, that we... Uh, <laughs> it's funny because on my way to the wedding, a guy texts him Eretz Yisrael. He says, I, can you answer this ASAP? I'm in Eretz Yisrael. He WhatsApps. Uh, I said to him, it's 12.30 at night in Eretz Yisrael and you need, a, you need an answer on your mezuzah now? Like, where were you a whole day? Right? <laughs> okay. Whatever. He sent the video. He sent the video. Yes, we passed off the video. But anyways, the Katani, he says, I don't know which one. So Shmamino, he wasn't there because if he was standing there with him, then Avada, he would know who it is. Right? Now, Toysus and Amanalev has a good kasha. So we were asking, um, how do you get each one to become Tame? Right? Um, um, why have each the, the way the Gemara is asking it is why are both of them chayshit for Tuma? right? Why are we chayshit both? So Taisa says, what do you mean? Neither one of them should become Tame. right? Taisa is saying, well, with, based on this kasha, why why is even where again the Gemara's kasha was why is even one of them Tame? Taisa says, what do you mean? Both of them should not be Tame. We should just say each one is a Suffolk. Right? You look at each one, each one of the Nazirim. You say, hey, you have a Suffolk Tumor, Rishul Saravim. Okay, so you're Potter. You look at the other guy and say, you're a Suffolk Tumor, Rishul Saravim. So you're Potter. So Tysus basically answers, like, like Gershon was saying, Shnei Shvilim, if that doesn't work. We don't say Suffolk Tumor, Rishul Saravim is Mutter, where one of them Vada became Tame. We just don't know which one. Then we have to, we have to look at each one that is Tame. Okay, now we're done with Tumor. Now for the next blot and a half, we're dealing with shaving. And haircuts. Yeah. So Magalchan and So what we do is we have to take they they have to shave their head and then they uh and then they have to bring carbonus with a tanai, depending on which one's tummy tar. By my someone says, how can they both shave? Dilma lav tamani noon. Maybe one of one of them for sure is not tummy, right? So how can he go shave? He's shaving his whole head. And he's going to make his, his, his head round. So now, this is talking the, about not the, the first shaving. That he should never shave the rest of his life? Maybe. Maybe. And then maybe I'm he... Saying, uh, it's a suffix for the rest of his life? Correct. Like we had that in the beginning of Masechta. Maybe Taki, he's a Nazir for the rest of his life, which is just going to strengthen Rabaran's question. It's like, who says this Yoko could come over here and make this guy a Nazir for the rest of his life? Right. But that, yeah, that's what we would say if he can't take a haircut. Bottom line is this the way the, the, the only Pshan, the Gemara, the first haircut that he had the 30 days, they both have to take, right? Because either you're a Nazir Tomei or you're a Nazir. But the second haircut, one of them does not have to take the second haircut. Because one of them was not a Nazir Tomei. So his original Zerus was good. So basically, but let's get the question um, clear. A Nazir has to shave his entire head, right? So it means he's, he's killing his payas. He's not allowed to do that. But for Nazirus, he's allowed to do it as a Doichalaisa right? But here, one of them is going to be doing it not for no reason. So then the essay is not Doichalaisa So Amr Shmuel, I don't know if you understood this answer, Rabban, but Omar Shmuel, Be'ish of a cotton. You're right. <laughs> We're talking, this whole mission is talking about a woman Nazir and a cotton Nazir. But in a Hanami, if it would be a male Nazir, then he, then he does not do this. Right? This whole case is talking about um, a woman Nazir or a child who are both don't have the mitzvah of payas or the chiv of payas. Um, what? Was, uh, they don't have the isra of al-kafos, 
They don't have the Issa. So that, therefore, that's what we're talking about here. And whether these guys have to stay Nazar for the rest of their life, that's going to be totally in the Machloik as we had before, whether haircuts are Ma'akiv or not, right? Um, Rebbe Yezer held that the haircut is Ma'akiv, so they would be Nazar for the rest of their life. Chacham would hold not. But either way, that's the way the Gemara is saying it. So the Gemara says, V'lukma begadol. Why don't we say that it's talking about a male gadol? V'hakofa kolorosh, loish ma'akofa. We had this a few times. Maybe the only iser to, to shave your payas is if you leave hair on the head. Right? What's the whole iser to shave payas? You're rounding off the head, meaning you're taking the hair behind the neck that has that's smooth, that doesn't have hair, and you're taking the forehead that doesn't have hair, and you're connecting them. Right? That's the iser. But if you shave the entire head bald, then maybe there's no Isra of Akavas Arosh. So maybe that's what it's talking about. So the Gemara answers, but the Loi Maikam Lahachi, well, from the Gemara didn't say that. Shmami Nakasavar Shmuel Akavas Kalaroi Shma Akafa. He holds that shaving the entire head is considered is considered cutting off the payas. So therefore, that terrace would not work. Right? Fine. Marzutra Masni Lalashma to the Shmuel Asefa. Marzutra learned Shmuel's din that it's talking about a woman in a cotton on the Sefer. And this is the case from last night. Nazir Shoya Tome Besafik or Mukhlit Besafik. A Nazir who's Tome Besafik, he's also Mukhlit. He's a Mitzayra Besafik. So remember, we said he has to wait 120 days. Eichel Bekad Shem Lacha Shishim Yoim Gershin, I got your Kasha finally. That's not, we're not doing it now. Eichel Bekad Shem Lacha Shishim Yoim. He eats the kachim after 60 days. And he has to end up taking four haircuts, right? After day 30, 60, 90, and 120. How can he do it? It's a suffolk. One of these is for sure a suffolk. Probably two are a suffolk, right? Maybe even three is a suffolk. How does he shave his hair? It's a suffolk. It's, it's an isadar isa. So a mashmuel be isha a katan. That whole mission is talking about an isha and a katan. So some say that that gemara is going on this. Now, da, uh, David, is he on? David Spiro still on? Yes. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah. A bunch of weeks to go if the, if the Nazir has to shave his face too, or is it just yeah, the, the beard? Head? Yeah, yeah, the beard. Into that. I mean, I thought we said that it was part of the head. And I, th- I thought we said it's not. From this toaster's here, it's mashma that it's not part of the head. Um, okay. Because... Irsa is that he was that he did he's hashchasa zakon, right? Um, and he's saying that basaf, but he's only saying it by its metzayra, not by he didn't say it in the first gemara. The first gemara Tosis keeps focusing on the payas, but the second gemara when it's talking about the metzayra, he's talking about where he shaves the beard. See the third, the fourth Tosis down. Tosis says v'ka'avid hashchasa zakon. That we our gemara doesn't have that. Our gemara says payas. Right, um, so he says, How come he didn't say about the zakon by, by, by the nazir? Again, I'm not so sure it's a diak, but to me, it's mashma that by the nazir he does not shave his beard; he just shaves his head. But I don't know. That's what it sounds like. Okay, fine. Omar Rav Huna, back in the Gemara. Omar Rav Huna Hamakif, a very strange Gemara here. Omar Rav Huna Hamakif is a katan or a If somebody gives a katan, okay, I hope my phone doesn't die. Hamakif, uh, it should be okay. Hamakif is a katan, a reyuchayev. Let's say somebody shaves his kid's payas. Is he chayev or not? So Rav Huna is saying that he's chayev. Even though a katan be'etzem is potter. But when it says the pasuk loy sakifu, do not round off somebody's head. It's going even on the person giving the haircut, not just the person receiving the haircut, right? So even though the receiver is pasuk because he's a cotton, but there's a din like again getting into gavra chefza. It's a din in the gavra that you're not allowed to give somebody. You're not allowed to round somebody's head off. We're going to see soon. Okay, what happens if a, a man cuts off the payas of a woman? Is he also not allowed to do that? Right? Because a cotton here is potter. With what Rav Huna is saying, he's chayim, even though he's giving a haircut to a cotton because there's an iser in the gavra to make somebody else's hair have no payas. Right? So a big chiddish. Fine. So Amalei Rav Ada Bar Ava the Rav Huna. So Rav Ada Bar Ava said to Rav Huna, Udidach, man megalech lahain, who shaves your kids? It seems so Taisa says, um, Taisa says that the kids went with... Sh- shaved heads back then 
the the Mephira seems to say that if they got sick, then they shaved all their hair um, after a chayli. But either way, he said to him, "Who shaves your kid your your kid's hair? Because you hold that you're not allowed to do it because you shave a cotton's hair. You're you're chayiv. So Amar Le Chayva Chayva Chayva, my wife, whose name was Chayva, which is quite an interesting name." Chayv is the one that does it. Because Rav Huna, even though he just said a chumrah, that is an isra gavra to cut off somebody else's payas, even if that person doesn't have the mitzvah himself. But a woman, he says, doesn't have the mitzvah of payas. So Mamela, since she doesn't have the mitzvah of payas, she's the one that could shave her, head, her kid's head. Which we said, a few, we said this once before, it comes up. Let's say somebody has to shave his head for surgery. This was in Yana de Yama for my son today, but he didn't have to shave his head. He had a hernia. But I'm just saying, but it was, I was discussing with him in the waiting room. He said, yeah, this is not exactly the same. I said, no, it's not. But, uh, <laughs> but a shave, well, it comes up in two days from now, Gamaru, because we're going to talk about shaving body here. But anyways, um, so, but if, if Taka, somebody has to have a brain surgery, and, but, or, uh, or something on the face, and they have to shave with a razor, you're going to get a lady to do the shaving. Because a man, it's more chomer than a man. However, we're going to come up from the sugya, but that's, but we're going to see from here that it's a machlaikis. So anytime you have a machlaikis, you try and go with the most lenient, lenient way. So you're going to have a woman do it. Either way. So he said, my wife does it. So he said, Rabbi Adam and Rabbi said, said to him, does Chayva want to bury her kids? Meaning he obviously disagreed and he held that a woman is not allowed to shave kids. And she's doing an iser. He holds Marin up the woman. Marin David Olvich can... Olam had half his beard when he had when he was sick. Shaved half oh, yeah? His, yeah, half of his face. Yeah, kept the other half. Yeah. yeah. Huh. Um, um, some will read this as a, as an exclamation, not as a question, not as a rhetorical question, which makes no, more sense. It, it makes more sense in a moment. Yeah. Well, okay, but the question is, what does he mean? I mean, it's not a chi of misa. Shaving head is not a chi of misa, right? Why should she have good? She so according to Ravada Barava. Can you hear me? Yeah. According to Ravada Barava, it's also she's not allowed to shave head, but a chi of misa, right? And then that's what the Gemara says. Kulu shani the Ravada Barava all his years lo yakayim lezari the Rav Huna. As long as Ravada Barava was around, Rav, Rav uh, Huna's kids didn't didn't live. Right. So because we know that when a Godel says something, even though he doesn't mean it, but these things happen. Right. So calls now. I don't know why it seemed to stop after Ravada Barava was nifta, but okay. So it's a very shvar gemara. The only thing I could maybe think is that the way the Rambam says the reason why the Torah asked make shaving the payas is because of the avoid the zara, because that's the way the avoid the zara dress. So it's sort of like a form of avoid the zara. So if you do ever an avoid the zara, maybe you chayiv. But I, I don't know. I don't. I don't know if that's a right shot or not. Either way, so that's a strange story. But the point is, is Rav 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 Huna. And Rav Adam Rav Adam Achleik is whether a woman is allowed to shave other people's payas. Rav Huna held yes, and, and Rav Adam Rav said no. Okay, but my commitment is, Michti, Tavayu Svira, I'm sorry. Michti, Tavayu Svira, Hakovas Kolaroi Shema Hakova. Both of them obviously hold, when you shave the entire head bald, that's considered um, bald. That's considered cutting off the pace. But my commitment so what's their machlokis? So Rav Huna Savar, Bas Roshchem, it says in the Pasuk, don't make your head round, and don't destroy the payas of your beard. Meaning, so we compare the two. Anybody who's in the din of destroying the beard is in the din of payas. Since women don't have the din of a beard because they don't grow hair on the, on the face, but they're not in the din of payas. That's where Rav Huna learned. Where Rav Huna learned, that women are not in the dinner payas, therefore you have to shave, if you have to shave somebody's head, or you have to shave a kid's head, do it with a woman. But Rav Adav Arav Sovar, no, Echad HaMakif, Echad HaNikif B'Mashma, it's Mashma, that shaving is also sigh for the person doing the shaving, and sigh for the person that will get shaved. 
If we make a hekish from the one who's giving the haircut to the one getting the haircut. Where the person who's being shaved is chayiv. So the person shaving them is also chayiv. Right? He's not a bar ancient. Right? Makif nami loy mechayev. So the one that's being makif is also not chayev. Right? So since he's a cotton, so it's not a problem. Okay, so then why do Rabbi Barav have a problem with the woman giving the, the haircut? Right? So the reason is because according to Rabbi Barav, there is no difference between man and woman. Right? He's saying it's totally in the person who's receiving, if the person who's receiving the haircut, it's also for them to do payas. So then it's also for the person to give them the haircut also, right? So basically it comes out, it's what? If it, no, 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 and but he holds that it's totally in who is, is the cotton, who, who, the, who the person receiving the shaved hair is, is, uh, um, is, the person receiving the shaved hair is the one that's a problem, meaning you're not allowed to shave somebody's hair. That's, that's the point. If the person can't get it himself, then he, then he can't either. Right? Well, for a cotton, there's no issa. To the cotton. Correct. But he holds that a woman is in the field of, not, of, of payas if the person that's receiving it is a problem, is not allowed to have it. Right? The woman's not a problem, so what's the issue about? No, oh, because you're not allowed to do an issa to a child. Right? You're not allowed to. You can't go give a child trade. It is an issa for her, meaning because a woman is in the issa of shaving hair. Ravada Barab holds that a woman is in the issa of shaving a payas based. I mean, there's no difference between men and women. No, no, women are allowed to shave, but she's not allowed to shave a man's head. According to Rav Huna, a woman could shave a man's head. But without him moving, okay, you can't do it in practical because the man moves his head. But theoretically, according to Rav Huna, a woman is allowed to shave a man's head because a woman has no chiv. Rav Adabara holds it, she does have a chiv. So when she, when she, correct, right, but right, but the, but she did an iser. A woman has an iser to shave somebody's head. So Rav Huna told his wife to do it because he felt that she's not in the iser. But Rav Adabara says, no, she is in the iser. Right? So, okay, so it comes out that there's, by the way, there's a kula and a chumr for each one. According to Rav Huna, kids are, are included in the iser of Hakovas Arosh, but women aren't. Right? So, Mela, a man, is not allowed to give a haircut to a kid, but a woman can. Right? And really, she can do, she can even give a haircut to a man. And according to Rav Huna, it's the opposite. Women are also to give to cut payas. Children are not also, right? Um, and a man, so, so according to Radha Barabha, a man and a woman are allowed to, um, are allowed to cut a kid's, a kid's, right? Um, but they're both, but they're also to do a man, right? That's how, that's how it comes out. So the question that becomes though, is what was the Shaila then? Can a woman, shave a woman's head right um yeah but anyways so again so it comes out according to Rav Huna and Rav Barava, the main machlaikis is is whether a woman is included in the iser of giving haircuts Rav Huna says she's not included Rav Barava says she is included right yeah okay so we'll stop here we're going to continue the sugi again tomorrow all right fine the island should have a fine night. Oh, yeah, thank you. Night. Oh, yeah. Shkaya. Hi, Rip. Um, let's see how much battery I have left here. 3%. All right, I'm logging off so I can save my battery. <laughs> have yourselves a fine night. Yeah, Shkaya, have a good night. All right.